Dolira's side would be odds on favourite to win, but they've gone to Switzerland with a squad of just 15 players due to injuries and international calls. Simon Clark's been soaking up the pre match atmosphere. Zurich, Switzerland's biggest and wealthiest city, famous for creating the most accurate timepieces in the world. Some of these beauties will set you back four or five thousand pounds. Why, you'd need a Swiss bank account to pay for that. At the other end of the price scale, you'll also find the humble cuckoo clock. But it's not cuckoos on the minds of Leeds United players tonight, it's grasshoppers. Now, you'd think a country built on precision would know exactly where the name grasshoppers came from, but oh no, I've heard at least ten different theories about this. The most likely explanation is this. They were formed in 1866 by a group of English students and it would appear the title was more of a nickname at the start than the name of the club proper. With Harry Kewell and Mark Viduka away on international duty, it's a skeleton squad that's been sent here, just 15 players. But nevertheless, David O'Leary expects his team to progress. We'll have to go some. We'll have to earn the right to play and do well against this side, particularly the amount of players we have out. But hopefully, uh, over the two games, um, we can get into the next round. I'm not going to say we're going to win because it's not easy. I don't think there's any easy games anymore now. Better luck, we can keep a clean sheet and get an away goal. The last five away games in Europe have been defeats, so we've got to get back to the winning ways. One Leeds fan is celebrating already. Mark Meyer lives less than an hour from the stadium and he's thrilled that his team are playing on his doorstep. I think Leeds United is sympathetic for people here because they are a young team. With many young, talented uh, players, not so. Uh, if you compare it to Manchester United, you can buy players and just form a team. But the Leeds United, they bring up a team. Grasshoppers have a long history of European qualification, but a Leeds win tonight will be music to David O'Leary's ears. Simon Clark, BBC Look North, Zurich in the hard Tourham Stadium, an unpleasant night for Leeds to endure with their skeletal squad, the absence of Viduka and Kuhl away with Australia, Bowyer and Woodgate in court and Radaby and Bridges' long-term casualties must surely prompt the club to strengthen. Perhaps David O'Leary has dropped a hint by bringing just four subs. Here now, I can tell you, the uh, Leeds United fans don't seem to mind. Look at that, 1,200 of them have come over. They are balmy. The official temperature in here is four degrees, but with a wind chill factor, it's down to minus three. <laughs> and they're not covered there, you know. The rain is tumbling down on them. It's lashing down. Well, they'll enjoy the evening. A long way to come to stand in the rain and the cold. In Hart, the set-piece expert for Leeds United. It was a chip from him. and Leeds are back in it and Alan Smith while all that went on was surrounded by Grasshoppers players and there was pushing and shoving inside the penalty area what a free kick yes certainly he's on a par with David Beckham with his free kicks Ian Hart and uh, he almost looks good for 10 goals a season that's a fantastic free kick totally unstoppable as well magnificent effort from Ian Hart and the Leeds bench jubilant Brian Kidd here with the uh, ear muffs to keep his head warm the rain pours down Tadcaster White big uh, blue and yellow Union Jack Otley White from Leeds fans they go everywhere with them as Dacor Mills is making a, room, a run to his right. Space here opening up for Dacor. Still he goes. Hodel away. Now Ian Hart. Hodel away again. This is Robbie Keane on the half time. Alan Smith! And they've won the tie! They've won the first game, and I think that gives them the tie. Because I can't see Grasshoppers coming back at Ellen Road. And Leeds United from being 1 0 down and rocking on a second half penalty given to Grasshoppers.
Coppers have turned it around. Well, give Alan Smith credit, he's kept going. He missed a couple of easier chances first half, but it's an almighty swing by one of the Grasshoppers' defenders, and the ball ricochets nicely for him. Here we go, if the ball's never cleared, it's Robbie Keane, and it ricochets back to him, and he's tucked it away superbly. What a great, great score now for Leeds, because quite honestly, until the last ten minutes, they never looked like it. Alan Smith's first goal in three months gives Leeds United a 2-1 win and boys worked hard. A 2-1 lead, I should say. And here comes the other substitution, meanwhile, for Grasshoppers. Well, they deserve the result and it's great that the two goals... ...took a giant step towards the last 16 of the UEFA Cup in Switzerland last night. David O'Leary's team came from behind to defeat Grasshopper Zurich. Once again, Leeds had to thank goalkeeper Nigel Martin for their success. Simon Clark has this. An outstanding double save in front of Sven Joran Eriksson. A turning point. Soon after, Ian Hart had planted an elegant free kick past Yella in the grasshopper's net, and ten minutes from time, Smith defied the offside trap to virtually seal the tie. I think we've given ourselves a great chance. We'll never uh, take anybody for granted, but you'd be delighted going into the Ellen Road, um, you know, leading 2 1 and scoring two vital away goals. Well, what an absorbing 90 minutes of football that was in the most appalling of conditions. And had Nigel Martin not saved the penalty when he did, then things could have looked very bad indeed. But as it is, with two goals in the locker and an away win, then Leeds should look forward to qualification for the next round. Simon Clark, BBC Look North, the Hardtum Stadium in Zurich.